never thought they'd see this again. <laughs> Here we go. About to party, I might pop bottles. Might have to see champagne day. Has it ever made you think? <laughs> Word. Word. But real talk, has it ever made Word. you look at things like, why is there only on wax battles in rap? Like, even though Gladys Knight and Aretha Franklin was battling, she put out Rock Steady and yeah. she put out uh, uh, Midnight Train to Georgia. Because that's the aggressive nature. They weren't saying each other's name or getting at each other. Right. But because that's the aggressive nature and the roots of rap is battle. Right. But I'm so saying, do you feel like it's being pushed? Around. But it almost feels like it's being pushed even more because it is a black genre. Well, well I just, yeah. like, nah, that, you know, battles, you don't think so? I don't think it ain't nothing wrong with a rap battle. Yeah, I don't even, I, I like, like rap battles, yeah. Rap battle's fine. Yeah. But when it starts to come to people being violent, right. it contradicts the reason for being in rap. Yeah. The purpose of you a real street guy for being in rap is to get out the street. Yeah. And to stay safe and to take care of your family. So you don't want to do anything that's going to get you back in the street and exactly. give you all the motherfucking risks that you had when you were in the street, but with cameras on. Right. It doesn't make any logical sense. Right. So once you have a battle on wax, the beef is over because you're a yeah. suspect. Yeah. Yeah. Period. To me, when people have a, a battle in public, that means they don't want any violence. That means you don't want violence when you do something public because you're going to jail. Well, or yeah. it, any other way to me is the logic. I, I do, I do think that there's something to be said, and we, we talked we talked about this a little bit earlier about um, collaboration and cooperation. That sometimes in various art forms and in sports stuff like that, that if something's a black art or if black people are involved, they're encouraged to be hyper competitive with one exactly. another and cut each other's heads off till there's only one person left. Django and Chain yeah. wrestling yeah. match. Yeah. Django and Chain wrestling yeah. match. The problem is we ain't playing our own game. So when other cultures are benefiting, benefited from us competing from it, yeah. then we become puppets. And that's what's happening. So our challenge is to make our own game and there's nothing stopping us. So I don't really spend so much time worrying about what they allow us to do and how they position us. I just make you conscious and then I give you a solution. Right. So I'm living the solution. The solution is do it yourself. Keep them out your business. There's nothing that you can't do, or nothing they can do that we can't do better. That's it. And the way things are set up now, there's no excusing not doing it on your own, right. except somebody gaffling you. Right. So I'm not gonna sit there and complain about it and wonder why about it. I really don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just say, yo, watch out for this one, watch out for that one, and just do this just like this. And if you don't choose to do it, that's really on you. Yeah. We ain't got no time to be complaining right now. Yeah. It's time to go get that money. Cause we all know how to do it and there's people like me that's showing you the game so complaining is a fucking waste of time period it ain't not there's no value in a wasted conversation talking about the past unless you learn from it yeah. or losing it using it as an example of what to do and what not to do in the right. future right. but unless we're talking about getting money i really don't think there's nothing to talk about and unless we're talking about because our bottom line is when everybody's well, getting, let me just say this besides money. Now, let me just say this now let me just say this the fucked up shit about this place right. in this world is people think they're happy when they get money, right? Mm -hmm. And the people are mad that they're not letting you get money. And then people do things right. like, and they justify it. So if everybody's getting money, it would definitely stop a lot of the dissension. And if people know how to do things on their own, a lot of the other shit, because a lot of people are just scared. Like, why else would you sell out your friends for an opportunity unless you're just scared that you can't do it on oh, your yeah. own? It's just fear. I do think, though, that- When you sell out your man, when you sell out your family, you are fucking scared. Because it's stronger to say, yo, I'm not going to sell out my man to do get something done. It's my family. I'm going to just figure out for us to do it on our own. But people take the scared route. And then they end up in the fucking safe place, doing the same exact thing for the next 25 years because of fear. There's but when you have no fear, you keep walking into the unknown. But I, I, I do think that um, there's a certain aversion to cooperation that is like, if we're going to build something, it would have to be us. Everyone can do it for themselves, but if you're not looking out for me, and I'm not looking out for you. Bro, the only way we can build it is we work together. I we can't do it without each other. So, so that's what- We can't do it on your own. I, I get it. That's so everyone has to have equity in something so that everyone I, equally benefits. But so I, and I think I see- Well, we're not excluding- we, we, right. People are excluding anybody that's outside of it. Anybody that doesn't have our best interests at heart. And that's easy to say. So it could like similar to what David said earlier, like Ezra, he's not black. But he has. Well, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking no, about. No, but he said, I want to see like color wise though. But he's listen. What he's saying is he's saying that you have to be some cooperation with the people that are achieving because it's hard to get right, to that right, place. Right. I don't necessarily believe that. You understand what I'm saying? I believe there's a common ground where 
you can have, because see, when you put them in a position of control, then they control you. You could work with them, but you have to. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I said have we to have to control the narrative. Them. Yeah, we got it. But they're, I'm, that's, I'm, I'm not saying, but, but what I'm saying is, it's very difficult to foster cooperation if there is also this spirit of unbelievable to the death competition. At some point, nah, we, competition is good. Dude. Competition is great, but there has to be a point to where Bro, let you me say ask you a we question. both can win. Let me ask you a question. When you get you box, right? You, yeah. Or you, you spar. You get in there with your man. He ain't trying to hurt you, but he's pushing you to the next level. You're competitive. You want to win. If I want to step out the ring, how yeah. to beat his ass. So, no, but you want to be fair. See, the thing about it is we just got to stay respectful and stay fair. Competitive, there's nothing wrong with that. We got nuts, nigga. We meant to go out there and eat the food we kill. That's what testosterone's gonna do, but you don't have to cheat. Why we got to sell each other out? That's to the death shit you talking about. When niggas go against their morals and their principles, that's the to the death you talking about. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it would be way easier to be somebody's friend and like them and make them a team player. Instead of boxing them out and doing everything you can to make nobody work for them and paint a fucked up picture and try to discredit them. You know, that's all fear. You understand what I'm saying? When it's unnecessary. Well, it's also fear because traditionally there haven't been enough slots for all of us. It, 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 what slots? What the fuck? We create our own slots. Don't give me no slot. Take your slot. Fuck I know. Out. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Slot in their system. No, no, I'm not in their system. No, 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 I get it. Their system don't fuck <laughs> us. Slot. Like, I give you a slot. Pause. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? You don't give me a slot. I'm the creator of this. Right. If My I'm point the creator, is, listen. How the fuck can a cool nigga let it work for a nerd? We rock stars, bro. Mm. You're not a rock star the minute a nerd tells you what to do. The minute you compromise your integrity and your rock starness for a check, you've lost your rock star card. And I, I watched a lot of niggas lose their rock star card. Pulled, and they know it. I pulled a cape off of many a person. Yeah. Just because it went left. Mm. It wasn't where I wanted it to be. Yeah, like you don't you don't let nobody play you for a dollar no matter what. That's the test. And Cass was like, oh, you should have you kept cutting them. You got money. It's, especially when there's options. We yeah. are the source of the flavor. Like, again, I went oh, to oh, Africa. Listen, I went to Africa, right? To Ghana. And they had the crazy mangoes. I want some mango juice. You know how you got to get mango juice in Africa? They take the mangoes, send them shit to like Ireland or something, then they send them back. We gotta what? buy the mangoes back from Ireland. It's the, it's the same shit. We make the shit, we give it to you, we gotta buy it back from y'all. We made it. That shit don't make no sense. Natural. That's insane. But this is what, that's insane. That's how I'm looking at it for the yeah. last 20 years. I'm like, how the fuck y'all making more money than us? Why are you telling me what to do when I'm cooler than you? And I put up the money. Get the fuck out of here. That's that's what I you know How what I'm do saying? You say yeah. that when you have no money. You flip. I say it all the time. No, I no, never have like no a money. person that doesn't have money and Bro, has, you never has listen, to if provide. you're a if you're a businessman, you never have no money. You gotta have cash flow. Every dollar you make always goes on the street. Period. That's part of the game. Yo, if you're not built for that, then go get a job. But to be a, a professional entrepreneur, you can't be like a what if. You gotta fight to through it. There's always a way to flip. It's always just like the way we did the book. We flipped. We ain't put up a dollar to make that book. Well, maybe like a G or two. And we made our money back first week. <laughs> and I got, you know, we could have did it a different way, but we don't have to. You could flip. A t-shirt costs $5 to make you sell that shit for 30. Flip. It's all about a flip. I think what's important to note just to like your way of thinking is very different than everybody. Like more people are not built like you than built like you. What's but want to be like you. Like, they feel enslaved. So what's that mean? That's why I give them books and I tell them not to be enslaved. Like, I try to give them consciousness for free. I'm not getting paid right now. I'm just talking to you. And, and the time of what you're saying, the way that you break the chain, the bondage of slavery is through consciousness. Yeah. Become intelligence. conscious intelligence. It's about perspective. You know, it's like... Information yo, it's, is key. It's like coming to a country, a to, like how they came to the Indians and was like, yo, we buying all your land and now y'all got to get it from us. You was here first. How you come and t tell me? Right. I, tell me, come to my house and tell me that you my boss. Mm -hmm. That don't make no sense to me. But it's just about perspective. Well, similarly, like the gold rush out here, it was a lot. There was like settlements, right? And so, white Americans came and they're like, "Look, there's a gold rush. Mexicans that are here, we're gonna be first in line to touch it. And if you touch it, even though it's on your land, we're gonna hang you." And it's like you had to wait for somebody to go look for gold on your land first before you could even touch it when that, it's your land. The only reason for that is more guns. They must have more guns. Yeah, technology. 
You know, and that's the problem. Well, a lot of it too was see, like that, church. See, here's the thing. The problem is everyone good doesn't feel the need to be prepared to fight. That's right. But if you're good, bad people are going to take, take advantage, advantage of that. that. And that's how Africa got caught up because it was, you know, hot out there. And niggas wasn't prepared. So it's being good a weakness? You just have to figure out. Nah, you got to be strong to be. It's like you got to be Batman. You know, you got to be like a superhero. Like even Jesus was looked at as a villain. That gun, that gun. Like the bottom line is, if you're gonna tell the truth, everyone that's not is gonna make you look like a villain. They liars, and that's really what it is. How many people you know that tell the truth end up, you know, being received with, 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 right. you know what I mean? Like, giving consciousness is always a dangerous job. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What about delivery? When you get critiqued on your delivery? I don't care. Who can critique me? I don't do it for nobody to critique me. This is my point of view. It's an art. Nigga, if you don't like it, do it yourself. How, you, your how you gonna be a fan if you don't do it? That's the one thing. Unless you're doing what I'm doing, I really don't wanna hear too much about what you got to say. Also, also, I don't really care. Adding on to what Dame is saying, like one of the most important things that people overlook is being selfish. Mm -hmm. There's an art to being selfish. Not the wrong kind of selfish. Being into yourself, building yourself up, because when you build yourself up, other people can right. drink from the overflow. So then that's not even because you selfish. can't give someone you can't give someone that's something that's you're not giving yourself. That's not even selfish. Yeah. You can't give someone something. And, and you're then not when you yourself. have people around you, it's like, yo, if I don't see you helping yourself, how the fuck can you help me? Exactly. How can you build my building? You can't and help do something for somebody. Business? You can't do something for yourself. You're not doing it for yourself. You can't pay somebody. To I'm gonna take care of his kids, help his kids, and I'm not helping my own. I gotta help my own. You know. So that goes back to what you're saying. About there has to be cooperation. See, Van just wants to make that jump. Yeah. He doesn't want to be on. He wants to, he wants to make the jump. He wants to make that jump so bad. He's right there. He wants to get that ring. What's holding you back, man? What's holding, back? What's holding me back? <coughs> um, I don't think there's anything holding me back. I think. Doing, no, I don't think there's anything. <laughs> I don't think there's no. I don't think there's anything holding me back. The one thing about me uh, is I think in a lot of the situations that we've discussed, even if you look at the situation about how. Um, how you just touched on a second ago, the origins of slavery. I think one thing that happens is people who are more informed or even who have a different set of information, uh, uh, who, have, who have access to a different set of informational uh, sort of resources will always take advantage of people who are less informed. Yeah. So if, if I see you coming to my shores with boats and weapons or whatever, and my idea of warfare or civilization of society is different than yours, it's easy for you to impress yours upon me because I go, yo, come here. Hey, look, this is us, boom, boom. Same thing happened to the, to the Native Americans that were already here. They're, the people that eventually would wipe out their civilization, that right, right. That, the, the, that wipe out their something? civilization showed up on their shores and they weren't prepared. One thing, the question I'm asking is why you don't want to make that jump? That's what you asked. No, but my point, I, I, I was getting to the, now I'm this nigga to talks it. 20 minutes. <laughs> Like, <laughs> talk, he can talk, he can talk, talk, talk for hours, but you want to talk five minutes. But I got it. I got it. Let him finish. Yeah, you answer the question. But but we can chime in. Like let let him answer the question. He's trying to chime in. He's trying to tell you what he feels. No, I'm just trying to answer the question. No, my answer is that you Jump in now, right? uh, <laughs> my, my answer. No, he's talking. What he gonna say? What he? Because what he saying is interesting. You see what happened? You say hey, you ask him a question. You let him talk. Let him talk. Right. Let him talk. Okay, so after my, them, my, wasn't prepared. No, 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 no. My point is, let, uh, let me get to the point. All right, for, for, for brevity's sake. My point is, uh, I need all the information. I need to be as well prepared. I need all the information. I need to know. Like, I can't be rudderless. I need to know where I'm going. I need to know how I'm get there. And I'm patient. You know what I mean? I'm bugging. Mm -hmm. See, my point is, <laughs> don't go in there thinking you're going to know everything because the only thing that's going to teach you is the experience and the confidence that you're going to win. You don't need to know everything, but you need to know what you know. Bro, you're talking to me. I'm, I, know. I know. I I went, Everything I went into, I went into blind. So that's what I'm telling you. I'm a contradiction of that mm -hmm. right there. And look at the history I made. Well, there's your way and then there's my way. My, and look what I did. And uh -huh. look what you're going to try to do. I'm trying to tell you. That's, yeah. what, that's the thing about black people, right? Yeah. If you listen to someone that's done it, you're going to say, how you did it? Hmm. And if I'm telling you right now, your way doesn't work, why would you not <laughs> listen to me? And I motherfucking made history 35 straight times. <laughs> It don't make sense. You're delaying it. You're, that's what I'm saying. Like, the thing is, <laughs> let me just, let me just, yeah. let, let me just, let me just yeah. tell you something, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Things can come to you, but you waste time in between. When you're aggressive, 
you got to go get it. Because by the time the information you're looking for you get, the whole game changed. I agree. And the only way to – oh, now you want to listen, right? The yeah, only I'm way to – You asked the question. Yeah, he answered the question. Yeah, answer this question answer, right? yeah. So, so yeah, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is right. the only way to get in the game is to get in the game. All Absolutely. that waiting, you delaying right. for oh, so Absolutely. long, you're going to be starving like Marvin, like a Cool J song. Yeah, See? yeah. That's what happened. I disagree. Like, 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 but like, you can't disagree. I, I got too many factual I, wins. No, no, you. See, no, this no, is no, your no, ego, bro. No, no. I got too many Ws. It's not. Bro. It's not. It's not. You can't do that, bro. You can't like, do that. <laughs> don't do that to yourself. Don't do that no, to word, yourself. I'm not. Well, no, I'm saying to yourself. Yeah, yeah. No, no man, but look though. You I gotta win. How old are you? I'm 38. All right, but all right. So don't do that to yourself. Right, no, 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 no. I'm, you understand I'm, what I'm saying? Don't do that to you. Because, because what I'm telling you. But we, we, we're, also, we're also in different industries. Then. No, we're not in different we're industries. Like, wait, wait, like, time out. No, you're in the, you work for TMZ industry. Yeah. And I'm in the, I try to own my own shit, make history every day for the last 30 years industry. Like make Jay-Z, uh, or, or, or put Jay-Z on, put Kevin Hart on, put Lee Daniels on, put Rachel Roy on. Right. Do DD 172, open up galleries around the world, put my kids through college, all of that shit. Right. Made books. How can you even do that to yourself? Do what to myself? Compare your perspective to my facts. Compare well, your, your you're doing something well, that's an intuition. No, 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 no. And no, I'm no. telling you something that's a fact. No, no. How well, is there an argument? There's no argument. All, all I'm saying. I'd be like is, you telling Tom Brady how to play um, quarterback. No, but I wouldn't tell Tom Brady how to play quarterback. But how I, you you tell him I'm gonna I'm gonna do it different. I don't believe you got to go through this to be this good at, and make history. You, that, that's what I'm telling you. No, no, I'm no, no, telling no. you right now, to make history, you do not have to know everything. Matter of fact, the only way to make history is not to know nothing. Go blind, take some chances, and fight fearless. Yeah. That's the only way to make history. I didn't know how to And that's it. the only way I ever made history. <laughs> I, Facts. Never thought they'd see this again. <laughs> Here we go. About to party. I might pop bottles. Might have to see champagne dance.